Hey everyone, Martin here, one hour playthrough. Welcome back, and today we, we're going to do the first Cauldron Sigma. And we're right over here on the map. So, yeah, let's get right to it. Oh, apparently. Oh, there was a fire. Door, but how to open it? So cool. Hopefully we get some uh, very rare loot in here. That will be awesome. I love these places. Feels very unique to a game. Yeah, who made it? That's a good question. That thing looks like a triangular pipe. What's it for? Hey, buddy. You wanna be my friend? Alright. Fire errors against corrupted or oh, watchers are so good. Come on, kill your friends. You can do it. Go get him, boy. That's right. Who's a good boy? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Alright, let's get right to it. These are one of the, my favorite kind of quests in the whole game. The cauldrons are excellent, so nice. Very useful because we can tame more beasties and also makes us ride two more mounts, I believe. Or at least one more mount, that's for sure. This way, that thing near the gap. What is it? Hope you all have a really good Eastern weekend. It's a long weekend. Today's Monday. And we decided to do some recording. Um, let's see, this way. like those flying machines move components around. Might be able to take me somewhere. Let's try that, Aloy. Let's grab one of these flying things. Uh, yep. There we go. Might regret this. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. This would be a really scary ride in real life. A lot of electricity. And if we finish this cauldron, we can uh, tame sawtooths. That is really good. I love sawtooths. They're big, strong beasties, man. Ooh. Okay, we will drop automatically. We can't go to the uh, through the Get force field. There we go. All right. Let's get in first. All right. 
he's on fire, so he's dead. Good against them. Oh, oops. Is he fleeing or is he? Excellent. All right. This big guy over there, we're going to take care of him in a second. So, this is what we're going to do switch over to our blast wire. Some quick looting. And let's make sure that. Oops. Oh, that's fine. I see. <laughs> one over here, then one over there. Oops. And then that's it. I'm already gone. And there one, and let's put one over here. Burn that uh, little puppy. Okay, so now we have the big guy left. Let's attack him. Okay, he comes up. We can do is go over here and hide around the corner. Wait for him. Alright, he's going down, that's fine. I love it when that he picks it up as well. It's so good. Alright, I hope he sees me. That would be awesome. It could be dangerous, definitely. He shoot as well. Oh, we have this guy left as well. He's gone. Alright, so we have to do... Take care of him. Just in case. Did he pick up? He did. Uh, it's coming this way. All right, sure. That's him down. I think that's it. Easy. No 
Luminous Breading. I think you need that later for an upgrade as well. Let's get our stuff back. Some loot. No, we have to go this way. All right. Check this out. Wow. That's awesome. I might as well quickly charge my bow. Make sure everything is ready. Yep, yeah, everything is good. Be aware that machines can make these bridges as well. Safe. And we have to go down here. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Let me take the rope. There, Aloy. Almost to the heart. All right. Get some loot. Wherever these machines are made, could find a way to override them there. All right, let's prepare quickly for this. Um, six, six, that's good. And how are we doing with this one? Yeah, you guess what I'm about to do. <laughs> All right, Have some uh, little buddies down here. So, right now you're safe. Nothing is gonna happen. Force field is staying up. Don't touch the force field, it hurts a little bit. And do some looting. But what we're going to do is prepare our defenses. Because, of course, he will come out uh, along with two or three watchers. Okay. So, this is the place to be. It's a really good hiding spot here. And you can duck down here and you're pretty safe. And I'm gonna make sure I'm really, really safe. So, start making some defenses here. Last wire. And this works like a charm. And if he's willing, the bellow back, he will just run in through all the wires and he will just die a horrible death. <laughs> Put them all too high, because the watchers might be coming inside here as well. And you want to use plenty, plenty of wire. And just, this makes it just <laughs> die so much faster. It really works really good. 
All right, I think that will do. And uh, let's put some bombs. My experience is he's always coming from this side, so I think for later. Uh, put a bunch of them over here. Works really good. I think these little walls will come down, go down. We have these. Like some big defense coming up here. Going on here. Absolutely. There we go. Let's put one over here as well. For good measure. Excellent. And one over here. We can always uh, pick them up. So we can. <laughs> we just can't go all out. It doesn't really matter. All right, we're all set, we're all set to go. A few of these towers, we have one over here, one over there, hardly to see, and a third over there. But since this is the closest to our hiding spot, and there's some epic loot, we're gonna take it later. Save that as a dessert. All right, let's do this. It should work reasonably well. Towards us. Normally it goes to the left. We'll see. Yeah, is it good for me? A bit further. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. That's a good boy. Oh well. It's got a bit frozen there. There we go. Done! I just <laughs> love to do this. <laughs> so good. And he dropped an epic as well. And so far, I think you always get two epics here. Don't quote me on it. Let's see what we get. Ooh, a 24% damage coil. Hello. Let's put that on right away, on our... Ooh, ooh, with terror. That's really good. And actually, let's, let's check this epic loot first. What do you have here? He resists a shock weave. That's really nice. I don't have one of these suits yet. So, um, I have another... Oh, I think this one. Yeah, this was my old damage. Nice. That's some really good upgrades here. Ah, oh, that went really well. I'm satisfied with that. Excellent. Let's quickly do some looting. And then uh, we are activate the machine. And then finally we can override more machines. I say taming, but it's of course overriding a machine. Cool. Let's do it. I think we're gonna ding as well. I'm sure we're gonna ding. Oh yeah. Uh, which door is going to open up? This one. There you go. Lancehorn, Scrapper, Grazer and Sawtooth. We can now override as well. Excellent. Reach level 19. More health, got more skill points. So let's spend them as well. And finally, ah, oh, damn, this is so good. All right, the next uh, tree line is going to be this one. These three are so good, and of course, this good. This one is good as well. Um, but speeds up the healing. No, it's okay. I think about it, but probably I'm going to go this way. 
And I love this one as well. More time, much more time. So that's really, really good. All right. Well, hope you like um, this episode. Our first cauldron mission done. And uh, yeah, for the next episode, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see if we continue the main story, but there's a lot of parts of the map we have to discover. And for example, this area is really good. And I'm gonna take you there for a short video and you'll see later why that is. And we have a bandit camp over there and we have to discover lots of stuff here. And I even think there is a ruin over here with the other, with one of the other power supply. So you have to explore this as well. How much I will do off camera, we'll see later. But for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.